This could have gone so well. But you just had to complicate things. Watching the credits roll on Cry Wolf, the fifth and final episode of Telltale's The Wolf Among Us, felt like waking up from a violent dream filled with satisfying answers. While it leaves a hint of ambiguity to keep some mystery in the world of Fable Town, Cry Wolf ties a ribbon around the entire series in expert fashion. It pays special attention to rewarding those of us who've kept note of minor details, characters, and events since episode one last year. It embraces the series' many storytelling genres and left me going over specific scenes and actions in my head long into the night. We are not friends, and you're in no position to offer me anything. Heads up, I'm showing a lot of footage from earlier episodes here in order to avoid spoiling episode 5's amazing story. The episode begins with a bang, with Bigby surrounded by the Crooked Man and his nightmarish posse. Crywolf is drenched in action, but instead of just titillating, the violence is here to allow us and Bigby to come to terms with the decisions we've made throughout the whole season. As I picked who to attack first during that initial brawl, or to focus on during an exhilarating car chase, I could feel the weight of every tense character relationship and tough decision I've made since episode 1 behind me. It all built smoothly up to this. The combination of frantic quick time events and branching dialogue trees with legitimate consequences made the actual act of playing Wolf Among Us a more active experience than a simple choose your own adventure story. Cry Wolf also does an excellent job of letting us paint Bigby Wolf in whatever shade of gray we choose. Whether it's the righteous sheriff, fairy tale monster, or something in between, Telltale empowers us to make this Bigby our Bigby, and by extension, this story our story in a way that most adventure games can't manage. Most of the side characters, good, bad, and glamoured, get just enough time in Cry Wolf for a satisfying conclusion. Georgie, the crooked man, and Nerissa specifically get a welcome dose of added dimension. The only disappointment on this front comes from Snow White, or the lack thereof. Seeing as how she's been a major character and plot point since the beginning, having her relegated to a single, albeit meaty scene left me feeling a bit disappointed. Episode 5 manages to cram many different storytelling genres into its 90 minute duration, but each of them gets enough breathing room to feel like Telltale has an important reason to include it. The horror of finally facing off against Bloody Mary, the magic of watching Big B fall back on his fairy tale roots, the drama of having your choices judged by the citizens of Fabletown, and the overall air of noir that's hovered over the series since its opening credits all jive together wonderfully. It's about time you showed up. Yeah. I had to take care of some things first. This final episode, especially the final scene, leaves a much appreciated ambiguity over the entire series. It's tough to talk about while remaining vague, but let's just say that many of Wolf's noir influences have never been more apparent. Unlike the season 1 finale of The Walking Dead, Wolf leaves a lot of smart, intriguing questions on the table, and it's up to perceptive players to fill in the gap. And unlike the wheel spinning of episode 4, every scene in the finale feels necessary, personal, and ultimately rewarding. When I finally made one of the series' most agonizing decisions, seeing the reactions on my fellow Fables' faces brought back those powerful waning moments at the end of The Walking Dead. Your actions can lead to a handful of different endings in both what's on the screen as well as how you interpret those events. While the central events remain unchanged, characters can live or die, and mysteries can remain open or closed depending on what kind of a character you want to be. Going back and seeing just how differently things can play out made me appreciate Telltale's storytelling all the more. I'd like to say it was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. The Wolf Among Us Episode 5, Cry Wolf, is a wonderful cap to Telltale's season. It made me not only want to replay the episode to see various outcomes, but the entire series to see if I'd missed any clues planted early on. The writing is great, the action is satisfying, and living with the consequences of my decisions is fantastically powerful. Simply put, the Wolf Among Us finale provides some of the finest storytelling I've played in a long time. For everything else Telltale, keep it here on IGN. Yeah.